Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Peter Drew. Some of you may know this already, but my wife is sick. She's got whooping cough, she's got strep throat, she's got a few other things. And I'm starting to wonder if she's not BSing me. <laughs> because I get stuck cleaning house, washing dogs, feeding dogs, doing the laundry, whatever it may be. And so she's laying there watching TV, and I'm going back and forth, and I hear snippets of the TV. She had the show on, I don't even know what it is, I'm going to assume it's Oprah, because that's one of her favorite shows. Not anymore. Not necessarily my favorite show. <laughs> and they were talking about the purpose of life. Why are we here? Why are you here? Think about this for a second. Are you here because you're trying to earn a living? Are you here to pay bills? Are you here to add to the GDP? Or are you here to serve a higher purpose? Are you here to serve others. If you're here to serve others, if you're absolutely convinced that that's what your purpose is, then you are exactly in the right place. Because this organization cannot live without you. David, Tina, and I can do a lot of things, but we do not have the time to do for the work that Stacy and James and everybody else in this organization does. We don't have the time to make those phone calls. We don't have the time to sit there and listen to companies and talk to them. We get the occasional phone call, but you guys are the ones that get far, far more phone calls than what I do. So you have a purpose, and that purpose is to serve others. You may not see it that way. You may be sitting there on that phone, oh dear God, Peter, why are you making me do this cold call on business development? I hate making those calls but you're serving a greater purpose. You're not here to serve me. You're not here to serve David and Tina. What you're here for is to serve each other. But if you can't do it with passion, then you're still a shortfall of what your purpose is. You have to believe in what you do. You have to believe that it is absolutely essential you have to believe that it is so important because one lead can lead to somebody becoming important. You may not even realize that something that you say to somebody just changed their life. If I go, that's a really nice looking top. I love that outfit. That person, I wouldn't have known it, could have been down in the doldrums, really feeling bad about themselves. And all of a sudden, wow, somebody recognized me. Somebody appreciates me. Somebody thinks something good about me. If you're going to do service to others, do it with passion. We try to organize this place so that we keep you engaged. What we have found over the years is if we allow you to sit home in your bathrobe and your bunny slippers watching reruns of Oprah, my wife does that, I don't, then you're going to fall into a pit. And that pit is, woe is me. What we want is for you to stay engaged. I challenge anybody in this room to tell me that if they really put their effort and their energy and their passion to whatever they're doing in this room, when they do it, when they go home that night, they're exhausted. But it's a good exhausted. I've accomplished something. I've demonstrated value. And I helped somebody. I may not know what that help is. I may not recognize what I have done for them. But I know I helped somebody. That's what it's all about, is service to others. It's service to others with passion.
passion. If you have the passion, you have the energy. When you have the energy, you have the direction. When you have the direction, you will be successful. The time to, un to employment in this organization keeps going down. I'm firmly convinced it's because you're directing your energies towards the right things. I'm firmly convinced it's because you're doing the right things, not only for yourself, but by serving others, you're helping yourself. Stacy spent a great deal of time this morning talking about Toastmasters. Is it something that you need? Is it something that you're avoiding? <laughs> Because if you allow your fear to control your life, then you're going to continue to walk in fear. And if you walk in fear, you're not going to put your best foot forward. And if you don't put your best foot forward, how successful will you be? A couple weeks ago, I evaluated somebody's speech. It was the first speech ever given by this individual. I was absolutely blown away by the passion of the individual who was giving the speech. And she stood there for a good three minutes, shaking, could not say a word, kept rubbing her face. And then finally the words started coming out. And you could tell as she was giving this speech, the strength was getting better, greater, and she looked the fear in the eye and spit in its face. Because that's what it's all about, isn't it? Maybe the fear of unemployment is nothing. It's not the unemployment that's causing you the fear. It's that loss of identity that causes you the fear. Well, let me tell you something. I, Peter Drew, branch manager pronet, deem you to be one of the finest professionals that walk through this town. You bring something to the table that most people don't know, don't have. You have a capability. You have a belief system. You have passion. You serve others, and you serve it with passion. And if you do that, you will be successful. There was a, recently an article that said that 80% of the people in this town are looking for another job. That tells me we're going to be playing musical chairs like you have never seen before. I saw it in 2000 when I first moved to this town, and unemployment was 2%. People were going across the street for a dime. I think it's going to start up again. And when it does, you need to be ready. But to be ready, it's to have passion within yourself. It's a belief system of yourself that you are a passionate individual. And you give of yourself to others. Because when you do that, you will be successful. Everybody understand? Oh, that sucked. Let's try it again. Here I'm talking about passion, and you sound like, like a funeral. Does everybody understand? 